Hey guys, Barbecue Bros back with another video. Today we're doing another product review. The uh, awesome people at uh, Maverick sent me one of their uh, PT100 barbecue digital food probes. And so I'm going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing and then we'll walk through some of the features and then one of the main things we're going to do is we're going to compare it to my splash proof thermopin which is kind of my normal uh, day to day uh, food probe that I use. So I love this guy but I've seen some really good things about the Maverick here so we'll take a look at it. So just got this in the mail so let's go ahead and cut this open. Go ahead and set this stuff to the side and packing. So this is what it looks like in the packaging. And right off the bat, you can see that it's, uh, I don't know, about an inch, right about an inch longer than the uh, Maverick here, just about the same width. So we will go ahead and, uh, let me go ahead and open this up and I'll be back in just a sec to walk through some of the features. Okay, I've got this out of the packaging. I put the batteries in. It takes uh, three AAA batteries. This just pops off right here and um, opens up like that. So there's your three AAAs. So what I'm going to do is just kind of walk through a few of the features and as I do, compare it to the Thermapin over here. And <clears throat> so speaking of the batteries, the first difference is that the Thermapin uses a, uh, it's a, right here in this area it's a circular lithium coin cell and they state on their website that it's a 1500 uh, hour battery life so I'm not sure how long the three AAA batteries are going to last I'm assuming uh, not as long as uh, the battery life here I could be wrong if anybody out there knows you can correct me so that's the first uh, main difference. Oh, um, by the way, this is just a little clip that it comes with that you can clip up here if you want to, you know, clip it to your belt or something like that. I'm probably not going to use that, so we'll get that out of the way. Uh, the next important uh, thing to mention here is that whereas the uh, the Maverick here, uh, it states on the packaging and on their website that it's plus or minus two degrees Fahrenheit on the accuracy where the thermopins claim that they're plus or minus 0 0.7 degree Fahrenheit on the accuracy so uh, if that's true then the thermopin uh, beats the Maverick out a little bit in that regard they both have an auto off function so you can see here how the Maverick is kinda it's clipped up in here and as soon as you unhook it it comes on just like that and you close it and it turns it off. Same thing with the Thermapin when you open it, it takes just a second and boom so it's on and then you just close it and it goes off. So that's the same. They are both water resistant and um, they feel about the same weight. Uh, can't really tell a big difference here. The uh, Maverick has some um, molded plastic on some of these sides and uh, some rubber here for some nice grip right here. And uh, one of the things that I can tell right away, and uh, the reason I was really stoked that these guys sent me one of these, is that um, the thing that I cannot stand as much as I love, absolutely love the Thermapen, is that when it's dark outside, or getting dark, it's impossible to see uh, your readout here because there's no backlight. So, um, you know, I'm always having to use my phone or, you know, have some extra lighting or whatever where this is a super nice uh, backlit LED screen. And so that's a huge advantage right there. So I really like that. It also has right on the front, uh, most of us know all this stuff by heart, but it does have a little uh, temperature guide right here so uh, poultry, lamb, veal, ground meat, beef and pork and it shows you what the well, medium and rare temps need to be on that. Okay so I want to go ahead and show you the difference between the two when you open them up and just show you how quick they 
uh, get a reading. Generally speaking, it's three to five seconds. And um, you know, I've got the AC cranking in the house right now, and it's getting cooler and cooler and cooler. So I've already noticed where they're both kind of like you know following that uh, slow drop in temperature here in the kitchen. So I'm going to go ahead and open the thermo pin and then open the Maverick. I'll let you guys just kind of watch these just for a couple seconds. So you can see here that the uh, I mean they're about one degree off and so I mean that's that's not surprising you know considering what I mentioned a couple minutes ago just in the you know the Mavericks having like a plus or minus two degree and the Thermopin Thermopin being a point seven so they're fairly close and um, you know uh, they they read pretty quick again let me go ahead and shut that one shut that one and I'll show you this one again so you open it And so it's taking a read really, really fast. And it's dropping down just a bit. Stabilizing out right in there. And then the thermopin. So they're about the same. It looks like the Maverick kind of takes just a few more minutes but they really as far as accuracy um, I'm sorry the Maverick takes a few more seconds it looks like to get that to go ahead and true up you know right where the temperature's at but as far as accuracy they're you know they're almost dead on I mean maybe a degree or so so that's about it um, I'm gonna go ahead and test these out when I've got the grill fired up a little bit later and we'll take a look at these guys in action alright so I have a tri-tip that's been cooking on my grill dome ceramic Kamado here. And so we're going to go ahead and, <clears throat> it's getting close to being done, so we're going to go ahead and open this up and take a look. Uh, this uh, probe that I already have in here is for my other Maverick uh, uh, wireless uh, controller here. Well, let's go ahead and compare the, uh, the Maverick here versus the Thermopin. So we're going to go ahead and take a reading. And you can see it took about about 5 seconds there, 5 6 seconds. Still creeping up just a little bit. So right around 141. Let's go ahead and compare that to how the thermopin works. I'm going to go in the same spot. So that's reading at about 143. So what I want to do here actually as a comparison is try to get this right in the same, try to get in the same spot. So those are almost dead on now that I've got them in the same spot. So the Maverick on the bottom is 144.5, Thermopen is 143.5. So that's what we actually saw on the inside is where the Maverick was about one, one and a half degree different than the Thermopen. So they both read really quick. So, uh, so there you have it. Um, I really like that you've got the uh, backlit. LED screen here and it reads really fast and um, I think this is going to be a really great alternative to the uh, thermopin especially when you're cooking low light or at night time so uh, appreciate you guys checking out this equipment review and we'll see you again soon